Okay, so I've just unraveled that little hat that I made that I started making. Um, and what I'm going to show you is how to make a magic ring. Now this took me a really long time to get my head around. Um, so the way that I just showed you to make your um, circle was to chain four and to join in your first um, chain stitch like this with a slip knot to make a circle. That is a perfectly fine way of making a circle. However, um, as you get a little bit more practiced with crochet, you might want a slightly tighter circle to begin with. Now, I'm gonna do this as slowly as I can. So, the good thing about these magic circles is that they are adjustable, so you can make them larger and smaller, and you make the, the hole really, really tight so that the top of your hat doesn't um, have like a hole in. So, the way you're gonna start is you're gonna have your tail here, your working yarn here, and you're going to make an X over your fingers, okay? So your working yarn is a, is the top strand of yarn, and the uh, tail is on the bottom. You're going to take your crochet hook, and you're going to put it underneath the bottom strand of yarn, which is your uh, tail yarn. You are going to pull the top strand of yarn underneath, so you've got a loop like this, and then using this bit here, you're going to pull round and pull it through that hole there. And what you've then created for yourself is this um, hook is on your, that, sorry, loop is on your hook, and then you've created yourself a circle that you can adjust. And I'll just show you how you would work into that. So I would chain two, like I do on my other hat, or the other circle thing that I made. Um, beyond over, gone into the stitch. Pull through two, pull through two. So can you see that this here becomes the centre of the, um, the hat, the circle. Okay, I'm just going to do 11 double crochet into there, just like I did with the uh, chain four loop uh, to show you how you'd start a hat off this way. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so in there I've got 11 and this is what I really like about this um, adjustable loop so you can make it as big as you like when you're doing your stitches into there but the magic thing about it is that if you pull your tail just gently you don't need to pull it really tightly you can close your circle and you can basically not see through that at all um, so yeah that's the thing that I like about it and then you would just go into the top of your chain to and do a slip stitch to join it together. It's exactly the same, it kind of looks the same as your um, chain four um, method. I'm just gonna show you one more time how to do, or in fact, probably a few more times, how to do that magic circle, because like I said, this took me a really long time to get my head around. So you're gonna make a cross over your fingers, you're gonna go underneath the bottom strand of yarn, hook the top strand of yarn backwards, and then use this strand of yarn here, which is attached to this one here, and yarn over and pull it through that, that loop that you made. And when you take it off your fingers, you can adjust your circle and use this working strand of yarn as your, um, as your yarn that you're working with. I'll show you that one more time. So make a cross over, hook underneath your cross, take the top strand and pull it backwards, go back for the rest of the top strand and pull it through that loop that you created and then slide it off your fingers. And that there is your magic circle. And you can just work single crochets into it so straight in, pull through, pull through two, straight in, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, etc. Or 
you can work double crochets into it just like we have been doing you can also work all sorts of other stitches in there but those are the two that I've shown you so far um, that one's gone a bit wrong so yeah and then to tighten it up you tighten 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 by pulling the uh, yarn tail okay I hope that helps if you can't figure that out then don't worry um, I'll show you in person on Friday anyway that's all the videos for now and I'll see you all soon bye